Breaking in the bots, a local school district in the first in the country to deploy three specific robots within the building, and they're showing us how it all works. Yeah, it's very interesting, and WMBD's Durante Matthews joins us live in studio tonight to give us a very special inside look at the AI tools and how education leaders say they're making the school environment more efficient. Durante? And show me, Rebecca, the robots at Hickory Grove Elementary and Dunlap are currently used for delivery, hosting, and disinfection purposes. School leaders say they can also be used to address the staffing shortages, sanitation concerns, and provide a look into the technology of the future. Hi, I'm here. Have a good day. Meet Roz 2.0. Thank you. Bye. It's just one of the three latest additions cruising throughout Hickory Grove Elementary School in Dunlap. The catch is, it needs Wi-Fi to function. I love seeing the, um, the students enjoying the robots, uh, learning about the robots. Jeremy Ednire, the school's principal, says ROS 2.0 is one of two AI-driven delivery and hosting robots the school is a pilot for. He says the robots are programmed to have the school mapped out in its system and can be controlled manually or with a smartphone. The functions are to provide efficiency and help out with staffing shortages, for example, escorting someone to a room or delivering video messages or items to classrooms that students may have forgotten. As a principal, I see that as the uh, the greatest benefit is really inspiring the students to think about um, how technology can um, improve our lives. He says Hickory Grove is currently the only school in the country to have utilized these robots provided by a Peoria-based company, Pringle Robotics. Sales manager Gerald Prawl says one of the most impressive bots is the school's disinfection robot. With all the health risks we're facing, the need for disinfection, um, sanitizing, is, is very important for everyone these days. Um, we have to find new solutions for these kind of problems. He says these robots can avoid humans and obstacles using LiDAR technology, which is used for self-driving cars. School officials say after custodians clean, the robots can disinfect the entire school in just three hours with its UVC disinfection light and its dry mist. Peral says the technology is paving the way for the future. And allowing the bot to, to automate some of these things we're not looking to replace things, replace people. We're looking to make them more efficient. And Peral says Pringle Robotics is in discussion with city leaders to bring an operations center to Peoria, hopefully bringing more jobs and opportunities to the area.